Hey, what's going on everybody? Marlon Prasad here, your local Central Florida realtor, and welcome back to New Home Tours, where I'm gonna take you guys through every nook and cranny of these new construction homes and give you my honest opinion. Today, we're over in Claremont, over in a neighborhood called the Canyons at Highland Ranch. We're checking out the Bimini model by Taylor Morrison. But before we get into it, don't forget to go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new home tours. And of course, if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Florida, then feel free to reach out to me. I would love to help you find and negotiate the best deal for you and your family. But without further ado, why don't we go ahead and take this tour? So this Bimini model that we're looking at here, actually comes in a six bedroom, three and a half bath. It also has a media room, a game room, and well, that's usually the garage. And it's it's a three car garage. It's a tandem three car garage. So it'll show as though it's a two, but one of the garages is a little bit longer or one of the sides are a little bit longer. So you get a lot more space, but yeah, about 4181 square feet on this home. Pretty huge. So now the neighborhood that we're in, uh, Canyons, Highland Ranch here, uh, we're about, 30 to 35 minutes from downtown Orlando, from Disney, um, and the airport. Yeah, that's all pretty close by. You can get on a turnpike within five minutes. We are in Mineola, actually, which I consider Claremont a lot of times because it's, it's basically right there off of Hancock Road. But yeah, I'm, I'm in awe of this model. It's, it's huge, it's a huge home. You're gonna see once we step in here how it feels, so. Love the door. That is a lovely door and I love how high they did this entrance here. It just, before you even step in the home, you get that feeling of luxury. And once you step in, yeah, it's, you're, it's very inviting. It feels luxurious. As soon as you step in, this foyer is, like if I had to rate an entrance, it's definitely gonna be up there. So, a lot of natural light just open and spacious definitely a great entrance you can see all the way down in the back they have a pool on this model here so right over here is actually a flex room so you can do this as a study or maybe make it a den I've already kind of started using it as a little bit of my office for a little bit but right opposite it is your formal dining so this is where you have you like your Thanksgiving meals and you know those special events when you have all the family over so can you picture yourself all your families gathered around having a nice meal putting the phones away maybe once a week you have a little family dinner but this way we'll go to the kitchen but I'm gonna take you guys through this way I love how the stairs start wide and then it gets narrow. So that's a nice touch. I've seen that in a few models before. This should be a half bath. And that it is. Yep. So this is what most of your guests will use when they're over. I just love how high the ceilings are. It's probably 30 feet. Yeah. Nice chandelier as well too. So real great. Uh, your great room gathering room whatever you want to call it we got double islands so i love this granite as well too this this is a nice style granite i know that's definitely an upgrade oh look at the farmer's sink that is nice under mounted white to blend in with the counter now if you guys are looking for a design option this right here is really nice at least in my opinion what do you guys think do you guys like this color combination it's it's pretty good i must say i am feeling that it goes well with the floors as well too, this wood looking tile. Designer did a good job on this, I must say. We've got a second island here. You can kind of maybe just use this to gather around and maybe, actually maybe use this as your, your little workstation. This is where you cut up your vegetables and, and all that stuff. Cut your meat up right here. Folks can kind of gather on right there and eat. We've also got your little, I guess, casual dining. So where you would, I guess, eat your breakfast, maybe normally. A lot of eating spaces in this house, so someone better cook. Now look at this appliances. Now GE stainless steel appliances does come standard in this model. However, this is an upgrade. This is part of their GE Cafe series. Yeah, look at that. Advantium 120. Yeah, this is, this is a real nice, real nice oven. This is top of the line right here. 
So we've got a pantry right here. So some storage. And as you can see, this is a gas neighborhood. Love that backsplash. So, oh, and I see they got the, okay, microwave as well too. I thought that one would have doubled, but nope. Yeah, all the appliances here are pretty nice. Let's see here. Okay, so we've got a little wine section, little bar section, liquor section, whatever you want to call it. The fun section. Uh, this would be your garage, but you're using it as a sales center. More storage. So, I guess you can store some of the big bulky items over there and use that pantry over there for the regular stuff. So, but yeah, I must say, I love this kitchen. It's, I thought, you know, double islands might have been too clunky and congested, but it's, it's well, it, it goes well. Love these pendant lights as well too. And yeah, this, this living space gathering room here is just, it feels amazing. It feels really luxurious. Is this a pocket door as well too? Nah, they did not put a pocket door on this. Just a standard sliding. I'm gonna go through this door on the side here because I have bad luck open up those doors. So, all right. Man, it's so hot outside right now. Like I just wanna jump in this pool. What do you guys think? Should I jump in with my clothes on? Tell you what, if this video gets 1,000 likes, then I'll jump in the pool with my clothes on. I'll do it in another video, but I'll do it. 1,000 likes, so go ahead and like. But Also, I'm kind of curious, do you guys want to have a pool in your home if you were buying a home? Is, some, is that pool something that you must have or is that something you're not so fond about and you don't really care to do the maintenance? Love having outdoor barbecue built in area. I know not a lot of folks would choose that as an upgrade, but for myself, that's something I would do because I'm an outdoor person. I like to barbecue, I like to grill. And in Florida here we have, usually have nice weather all, all year round. You know, right now, you know, it's a little hot, but yeah, let's get back inside. I'm two minutes outside, I'm already sweating. Whew, that AC feels good. All right, I think we still got like 2,000 more square feet to go, so let's go. So one of the things I like about this home as well too, the master bedroom, it's downstairs right here. So this is your owner's suite. I like the design they did on the ceiling there. So yeah, you get a nice view as well too, right off the pool. So nice good windows, you even have access right here. So yeah, nice little owner's retreat. I would say the room is not the biggest of rooms, but I mean, it, it's more than doable. I mean, this is a king size bed here with a canopy. And I mean, this feels amazing. They even have a dresser here and two night tables and two, um, two uh, chairs to sit down on. So I love this great quartz. That's, that's, that's lovely. Yeah, man, look at this bathroom. It's, it's pretty huge. We got your tub for those of you that still like having the tub. I want to say we got some linen storage right here. Yep. Your little makeup center. You already know what this is. Nice and secluded. And there you have it, guys. Here's your stand up shower. I mean, it could have went all the way to the top of the tile. And here is your her closet. I love the fact that it has this window right here that lets in natural light. And of course we have your, his closet right here. Not the biggest of closets to be honest with you. I feel like it could use some more closet space, especially at this price point. 400,000 for this model here starting price. This model here as shown is about $700,000. So just keep that in mind. All right, that's pretty much it. 
downstairs, let's go upstairs. I love a theater room. Oh yeah, this has a theater room, a media room. Oh, okay, so here's your game room. So. Oh, Slappy Rocket! This is another bedroom, actually. So it's, yep, look at the closet space on this one. This is a really good size game room as well too, so I could definitely see myself hanging out here. So, and not just does it have a game room, but a media room as well too. And it, oh my goodness, they have all my favorite movies. Oh, they have everything. Okay, I actually have not seen The Greatest Showman. Seen it, favorite. Actually, I love Coco, definitely. E.T. of course, of course Star Wars, Shrek, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Actually, I have not seen Incredibles 2. Let me know which one of these is your favorite, guys. Out of all of these, obviously, Avengers is mine. But sorry, this is this is the media room. It's nice and cozy. I love this. This is media and game room. This is ultimate for entertainment right here. Yeah. We were allowed to drive the golf carts until he crashed four cars. I hold that against him to this day. And I love how it's just open to below. So, you know, you can kind of wake up in the morning and say, hey, so what's, what's cooking? I don't want to come down those stairs unless you let me know what's cooking. So. Got your air handler upstairs here. Oh, it's like a little, little homework section, a little planning area. Another bedroom over here. This one is at the front of the home. This person can kind of actually see right at the front there. And it's got its own. Okay, this is like a Jack and Jill. It's a modern day Jack and Jill. So whereas your closet and your sink is all included in your room technically, and then the shower is the only thing that's shared, the shower and then the toilet. So, so this is nice. This should be the other room. This should be Jack with another sink. I see girl clothes, so I'm assuming this is another Jill, so call it a Jill and Jill. But this is a decent size. There you go. Actually, there's an option where you can actually put a master, another master suite upstairs as well too. So you can have two masters, one downstairs and one upstairs. However, it does combine two of the rooms and make it into one. I believe it's these two rooms that it would combine. Actually, no, it might be the other two over there. I'll have to double check. It's little, I remember that's an option on the map, so. Another room here. All the rooms have really good closet space. This is another front facing room. And this is the bathroom that these two will share. There's another room right there. And you can't close off the toilet and the uh, uh, shower. So leave the sinks available. That's perfect for, you know, in the morning time, you know, everyone's, while someone's in the shower, someone can still brush their teeth, maybe shave. Or if it's a kid, just brush your teeth. If you're shaving as a kid, then, well, I mean, I was shaving as a teenager. So it happens. Well, there you have it. So there's actually three rooms over here to use that bathroom. That may pose a problem. 
yep that would definitely be a problem so but that's what happens when you have so many rooms so i believe that's the one those two rooms back there are the ones that you can actually replace that whole that whole section right there and make another master yep pretty sure so you can replace this this jill and jill with another master but open to below from here as well too it's this is a lovely home it's a it's got the feeling of a mansion so even upstairs here we've got nice high ceilings so but guys i think that's about it all 4100 square feet of this home uh remember this is the bimini model starting around 400,000. This model here as is shown here, it's over 700,000, it's in the 700s. So they definitely did quite a few to, uh, to this model here. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this model. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Is this something that you would actually see yourself living in? What's your favorite feature of it? How do you guys feel about this dual island right here? That's something you don't see very often. So let me know what your thoughts are. In my opinion, you probably use that there for preparing your food maybe use this to eat so a lot of options here so anyways guys if you like the video go ahead and smash the like button don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any new home tours and of course if you're thinking about buying a home in central florida i would love to help you find and negotiate the best deal so contact me whenever you can my contact information is down below but uh until next time thank you all so much for watching peace